Hey everyone, in this video here I'm going to walk through the process of um, how we can embed a video into a blog post or any web page um, for that matter. And then when that web page is shared to Facebook, have that um, YouTube video embedded into Facebook as well, into the Facebook post. And also when somebody clicks the link on that Facebook post, it comes back to our site rather than um, to YouTube but the YouTube video will be embedded there because it's embedded, embedded on our site. Now I'm going to show this example using WordPress uh, a manual way. It's not going to automatically detect the embed um, and put in the values. We have to do it manually. So I'm going to show you that process here and through that process you'll be able to figure out how to do it for other sites as well, I'm sure. Okay. So the first thing we want to do, um, and now the article that uh, this video will be embedded in will have this code that you can, so you don't have to worry about trying to copy it from the screen. But essentially, here's here it is here, and I copied it to my theme functions file. And what it does, it starts out, first of all, it grabs a description. Now what we're doing here, I want to explain, is putting in open graph tags. And these are the tags that Facebook looks at when when a post when a when a URL is shared on Facebook it'll look to the U, um, to the open graph tags for information and we can control that information that gets um, put there so that would be the title the URL which will which Facebook will allow people to link back to and then the description and what we're doing here is if it's a if it's an article we're going to put of course the article but if it's a video then we're, there's a few extra parameters that we can uh, we can set up and what, what Facebook will do is check these values and they're they're available like behind the scenes like they're not obviously visible on the web page um, but but Facebook will check them and Twitter and Google will also check these values too if the values that they normally check aren't there so it'll default to the to this um, now this gives you a, a way to control um, the way your post is shared on Facebook. All right, so here's the code, and so what we're doing is we're for the description we're going to clean up the excerpt, uh, f the excerpt for the uh, WordPress, and use that, and we'll use that as the description that that will show up on Facebook, and then we're going to use the permalink for the URL that'll show up on Facebook, and then the title of the post for the title. Now. The rest of it is defined now on a per post basis. So case three, that means that post three has this has these values. Now, if you wanted to, you can you can put these within here as well instead of up there. And then for each of your posts, you can define a title that shows up on Facebook rather than using a Facebook title. You can define it specifically. Anyway, um, to find the post ID, what we're going to do is, um, here's what the post looks like on the site. Now, to find the post ID, um, I don't have pretty permalinks turned on, so you can see the post ID right there. But if, if I did, you can just go to all posts and then hover over the post, and you'll see at the bottom it says post equals three. And same with under trash link and well, and the view link in this case. Okay, so now we got the post ID, so we'll put that in there, and then we'll set up the value specific um, for the video that's in the post. Okay, so these values will show up between the head tags um, and the source code. And to get these values, um, first of all, you just go to the uh, watch page for the video that you, that you embedded into the post. So in this case, we went to this. Um, I went to this watch page here, which is where, which is the video that is embedded into this post. So now on here, I'll click on View Page Source. I'm going to do a Control F. I'm using Chrome. I don't know what it'll be on your browser. I'm going to do a Control F for O G colon, and then I could see what face. I mean, sorry, what YouTube used for the values that I'm looking for. So the I'll go back here. The values that I want are for image and video. So if I view source on YouTube, I look image. Okay, here's the value that YouTube used, so I'm going to use that. And the value for video, the 
that you two use, so I'm going to use that as well. And then we can get the width and height in here as well. Um, I actually grabbed the width and height from here, 420 by 315, but according to this, it's 640 by 480. Um, it's not entirely relevant, but I put we could put either one in there. Okay, so now we once we got those values in place, then we just update the file. So anytime we want to put a new one in, we'd have to copy this code here. And then we would change for the post ID, then we would change these values. So we'd have more than one case. These are this is a case within this within this switch. So the switch is looking at the post ID, so we create a new case for every single post ID. And it's going to have to have a break tag in there. So let me do that. Let me show you that how that works. So I'll copy everything that you see there and then paste a new one. So then this might be case 6, and then we would put in the values. And then we'll just leave the default as is. So you copy everything from the case line to the break line. Okay, and then you click update file. And that results in, in what you see here, but if we view source, we can see, okay, it shows the title of my post, it shows the actual um, permalink, and it showed the cleaned up the excerpt, and now it shows type, video, and then the values that we put in there for image and video, and the width and height. Okay, so now with those present on, on a given web page, it doesn't have to be WordPress, but with these present on a web page, um, when, when sharing the URL to Facebook, this video will be embedded, and it'll use this initially as the uh, thumbnail. Okay. All right, let's get the URL. I'll copy it up here. I got it right there. Now... What you might want to do, if you're playing with this and you're trying different things, um, every time you paste that URL into Facebook, it's going to get cached. So every, I, I make it a habit that every time I'm testing this, if I'm going to paste this link into Facebook, every time I'm testing it, I'm going to want to go to the debugger tool for on Facebook. Just look up, um, here, I'll go to the URL here, developers.facebook.com slash tool slash debug, but you can look for... Um, Facebook debug tool or Facebook linter and this it'll it'll show up and then you just paste in the URL there and then click debug and then it'll get it out of cache first of all and it'll tell you if any warnings or any uh, everything looks good here and there's no warnings or errors on this particular page so this URL should share nicely into Facebook so now I'm going to go to Facebook paste in the URL have it set to only me for my testing. That's a good idea to do. And now I'll click on post. So now we got the uh, the play button. So I'm going to click that, and sure enough, it plays. Okay. So now um, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and have a great night.